This is my second tub and I will be ordering another one soon. Again, this is my favorite nootropic, so. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do kind of like my final review on phenylparacetam hydrazide. Now, I've actually been trying quite a bit of new nootropics recently and phenylparacetam hydrazide is probably one of my favorite nootropics probably ever. It probably is my number one just because there's just these subtle little things that I like in this product versus a couple of the other nootropics and it absolutely blows me away. I absolutely do love this stuff. But I initially started taking it after like about a week of taking FL Adrafinil every single day and FL Adrafinil lasts way, 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 way longer. So I was taking lots of the phenylparacetam to kind of compensate. And then once I was taking it every day, I didn't really understand the compound yet. A lot of people will say that, especially with phenylparacetam, that you shouldn't take it every day. It's kind of like an emergency style nootropic. They say it's kind of like modafinil now. Since then, I've kind of fine tuned my dosage and I do agree with most of what everybody's saying that you probably should um, not take this every day. And some people will came on my videos and say, well, um, this, this product actually does make you feel more calm and actually makes it feel like your brain's running better. So people will come on and say, well, why wouldn't you take it every day? If it's actually gonna heal your brain, it must be zapping you somehow or it must have some negative effect. This is pretty much, as far as I know, the strongest racetam. It's the only one that kind of feels like a stimulant, like from my own experience, oxyracetam is a little bit stimulating and same with aniracetam, they can be for certain people at certain times, but the way this feels is just fantastic to me. And I would also classify this as like, it has stimulant properties, but for me and from the research that I've seen online, it seems to have the max stimulant effect for about 60, maybe to 90 minutes, but I think it's about 60. I mean, you compare that to modafinil where they say at least four or five hours, sometimes all day, you know what I mean? So so the actual stimulant aspect is not that long lasting, but in my opinion, this kind of has like a twofold effect. If you will look at this online, uh, people will also say that this is anti-anxiety and I have to agree 100%, it, it totally is. It has some brain balancing going on. I think it's a neuroprotector. The Razzletams are similar to GABA, so it might work on GABA. And then obviously it works on choline, which um, choline for me is kind of like this relaxed style focus. Yeah, it's focused without really too much of the jitters or too much of like euphoria. It's just actually really good focus. So my sweet spot with this one, I would probably go, you know, between 100 to 200 milligrams, depending on what you want. And then I would do it probably one to three times a day based on how much you need it. And again, this is kind of like an emergency use. I do feel slightly more tired the next day, but really it's it's nothing. It's just something that would make me not wanna retake it over and over and over, just so I can get my body rebalanced off the slight bit of tiredness that I feel the next day. But like I said, once that initial stimulation goes off, it's almost like your brain is anti-anxiety and it just functions better throughout the day. To me, I actually made a racetam horror story video where I was explaining how I took this pretty much every day, all five grams. This is actually my second five gram tub of phenylparacetam and I'm completely out of it. So I was on my second tub. I took it just pretty much every day and five grams isn't that many. It's essentially like 50 normal pills, which I, to my opinion, it just wasn't that much. So I took all those and then I combined it oxyracetam and aniracetam had this horrible effect. So from my experience now, I just would be a little bit careful with the racetams. If you feel any sort of like a brain fog or you feel any time that you feel like, wow, I just got a bunch done, but like, I don't even know how I did it. You're almost kind of like looking back, like I feel like I just didn't do any work. And then you look and you got all this work done. That's when the racetams are kicking hardcore. And at that point, you're probably like maxed out and you want to just take a break. People will also say that this one is a little bit more of a stimulant um, versus the other racetams, but I agree with some of the statements that people said before that you should only really take racetams, obviously with trolling too, if your brain feels like it's not functioning properly, if you're trying to access it, you're trying to access words and it's just not coming out correctly. If you were looking for a stimulant, this is the only racetam that has stimulant properties, but generally racetams are just kind of getting your brain working uh, a little bit better. I noticed that uh, when I re-edit my videos, I make a lot less mistakes when I take the Rasletams versus like Kratom or like anything else that I might be taking. So anyways, guys, this is definitely my favorite supplement. I really do like, I'm about to do a review on this Floro Modafinil that I got. I also like, really like Adrafinil, but to be honest, guys, I just really, really like this. For some reason, when I take Adrafinil or Modafinil, to me, 
it just feels closer to like a stimulant. You know what I mean? Like I'm taking a stimulant. This feels like it protects your brain, it heals your brain, it gives you anti-anxiety, and there's about 60 minutes of stimulation to go along with it. You know, it's not really as much of like a typical stimulant. That's how way I feel with modafinil. Now, modafinil is really well tolerated and actually is way less than something like Adderall. It's much more you know, almost no abuse potential compared to Adderall. I just really like phenylpiracetam. It makes me feel more like myself. It's hard to describe. Like modafinil, I'm a little robotic. I'm gonna be getting into that in a review in a second, but I absolutely love this phenylpiracetam. It is my favorite racetam. It is probably my favorite nootropic because it just does a little bit of everything. Be careful taking it every day and make sure to take choline with it. Um, all the racetams are meant to take choline and you can kind of end up in some sort of like a choline deficient cycle, which you don't wanna deal with. So anyways, guys, let me me know what you think of phenylprastatem hydrazide this is my second tub and i will be ordering another one soon again this is my favorite nootropic so anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best I'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace